Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. And in this video, we are going to do. Uh, basically, I am going to explain you one of the uh, GitHub repo API, and we are going to write certain test cases around it. Okay, so let's get started. So guys, uh, let me show you the collection first one. It's a GitHub uh, repo API. So if you go to GitHub dot com repo API, we are going to get this one and this is the repo api uh, it's available and what exactly we are doing here is that uh, we have one get request right and the in interesting thing is that uh, to access this api you need a basic auth right so basic basic auth is basically whenever we uh, is used to do authentication to the api server that yes we are uh, we are a legit user and we have this username and password please uh, please allow us to access this information from your server right so this is how authentication works and what we are doing is that we are passing basic auth and uh, so let's start with first of all we'll let, let me get, tell you about the environment variable right so this is the environment variable that i am using i am using url username and password right so i am using a dummy account where it has certain repos and uh, the username is api testing and there is a password and the url is going to be api.github.com okay so this is our environment and we are going to set the environment using this drop down right we are going to set to github and now the first request is basically basically the get request which basically tell us that uh, this url will come and i'm going to use this yes and this url if you hover over it it will basically going to replace with the dynamically using the environment and now the value is api dot github dot com right and we are going to access the all the repos okay so let's run this and see if it is works or not and here we have 200 and we have already fetched that our uh, i have like two a three uh, this one is the first repo and this one test one is another one and test two is another one right so let's do one thing let's let me log in also so that you can see that uh yes so i right now i have logged in and uh, with api testing gig and these are the three repos are already available right and uh, i don't have any kind of test case but we are going to write some of them okay first of all we need, uh, we, we need to understand this one right so now the second call is the post one, right? And the URL is capital U. So I'm going to replace with small one. And uh, this uh, basically you can use this one, the second link. It's basically tell us uh, how to create. So to create, you need to use this endpoint user slash repos, and you need to pass certain things with which with, uh, they are mentioning in their API documentation. Okay. So these this is how you can mention. The key value pairs of your repo right so uh here we have a content type as a json and the body we are going to basically create a new repo with the name of abc and i'm going to uh this is just a dummy information and i'm going to create one okay so uh guys just make sure that authorization is set and we have passed the username and password and uh, we are using using the dynamic variables and so that these are going to be fetched from this environment variable cool all right so now uh, this has basically created a new uh, repo so let me refresh it and see if it is created or not okay so now yes it is created here right the new repo is created let me see if the information that i have entered is yes so uh, nothing is there but repo is created using the api right okay so this is how you can do it right so let's uh, open up the api again and uh, we can edit we can get get the repo right uh, let's see how it's so you can get the repo but you need to mention the owner name and the repo name okay so this is uh, this is the second one and let me replace this with small url and now yes if you hover over it or you can use i i to see all kind of environment variable right and the environment variables there is this uh, this one is uh, large uh, small small url right cool 
so in the headers and in the body part you need don't need to mention because we are getting the information right authorization we are just mentioning uh, this header is not required cool but i am going to send it and here we have information about the abc cool so now we have we are basically using the endpoint repos username and our repo that we have created right so i'm going to use this patch command so this is the request uh, this is the edit one and let's see yeah so you can what you can do is that you you need to use repo the repo owner which is api testing geek the repo name abc and yeah here you can mention the whatever the information that you want to update right we are, this is the patch request so a smaller update right we don't want to create new one because new will be created when we do put request if it is not already there but it's abc repo is already there and we need to uh, change the small detail so we are going to use a patch request cool and uh, content time uh, by default is works so we are going to uh, name change the name so let's see if it works and here it's uh, it's giving us 200 okay message it means basically the it works and let me refresh it that to see if it is changed to abcd or not yes it is changed right and it is also logged because uh, here we are se uh, sending it that it's private repo now so now it it has become a private repo these are public repos that's why lock is not present cool so we have successfully uh, successfully created a patch request also for this github re uh, repo api right now again we can use the get to see to basically check and uh, it's going it will not going to work until we do a small one cool and it's a similar one we are just getting all the repos now uh, abcd is there and uh, let's see another another one let's see so all of them will become test one test two and hollow one all four will become i know this already and you can delete the repo and but you need to mention the delete method and uh, repo repos endpoint this is your username and you need to pass the repo name which you want to delete so let's delete this one okay but we need to change the url cool and here we have so delete request generally returns no content most of the time okay and it means basically it's successful it, it has taken 3.7 seconds and let's see if it is deleted or not yes so it was deleted right so this this was a part one about it and in the uh, second video i'm gonna give you the, the test cases for it okay thanks a lot and bye